hey guys welcome to project management world and we are back with our another video in this video we are going to discuss about a very important a very key document that a project manager has to carry has to maintain throughout the project and this is very important as well because for come up with the budget for contingency you required this document and the document is risk register so we will cover this topic today but before that if you if you have not watched the risk management video in, in the channel please watch that first to understand clearly what the risk register is because that video includes all the processes that are needed to create a risk register and in this video we will discuss like what is risk register why it is important what content it includes and how it look like so we will cover all these things today so before jumping to the video if you are new to channel i would like you to please subscribe the channel and and press that bell icon as well so that whenever i upload a new video you can get the latest update so let's start this so here you can see on your screen what is the risk register so a risk register is a document that is used as a risk management tool to identify potential setbacks within a project this process aims to collectively identify analyze and solve risk before they become problems so what it is telling here that risk register is a tool of a risk management that helps us to identify the potential setbacks that may arise in the future so that we can have a preventive action for that second line is a risk register is important because it helps project manager and other stakeholders identify assess and prioritize risk in project or organization so it also tells us that which risk has more impact which risk needs more attention so all of the things we cover in the risk register so that is why it is very important to project managers then we have the risk register details all identified risk including description category cause probability of occurring impact on objective proposed responses owner and current status it is a spreadsheet containing all the statements of risk identified of the project so it includes like list of all identified risk what is the description of that risk and what is the impact or from which category it belongs to then what it is the probability of its occurring then if it occurs but what will be its impact will be the responses for that risk and who is the who will be the owner and then last we have the current status of the risk so all these things this risk register carries with we will see this template in coming slide as well so now let's see like what are the steps to perform a risk register here you can see the processes that needed to have to perform a risk register so under plan risk management we have first one is identify risk uh, so we identify the risk here then we perform the qualitative risk analysis qualitative risk analysis is nothing but uh, subjective analysis of that risk like uh, giving a rating for probability and impact and then if needed uh, for project we do the quantitative risk analysis as well which quantifies our value which we which we have in the qualitative risk analysis then after performing performing these two techniques we plan the risk responses like what response is required for this this risk and after that we implement risk responses and the last is then we have to monitor and control those risk so that are the processes that are used to have a risk register with us to maintain a risk register for a project so you have understanding of all these processes how i have explained in the video which i am talking about now let's see like how this risk register look like what content it includes what columns it have so let's jump into that so here you can see we have a template example with us so we have several columns here so let's start from id so the each risk is a unique id uh, or you can say you can give the serial number as well so this is id and then second column we have the risk like what the risk is we need to provide here the risk des description uh, this we get from the identify risk process and then impact description then proper description of impact like what could happen if this risk occurs and then we here we coming to the qualitative risk analysis so you can see the column impact probability and risk score based on the expert judgment we uh, we do here the impact and probability rating here for for each risk for example for first one it is low one one is low three is high 
and then we have a risk score with us so multiplying by probability into impact we get the risk score as well then we plan a response we have this plan response process and then we assign the owner to it so this is a simple template example you can see but yes to perform quantitative risk analysis you need to quantify like what will be the impact of what will the cost if this risk occur and what will the cost when we mitigate that risk so that tells us about the what is the quantified value to mitigate or accept so whatever response we have uh, what is the quantified cost of that risk that is quantitative risk analysis which is not included here but this is a general example so you can see here we have the risk score with us so what we do after that we prioritize this uh, by their risk score ranking so higher the risk score more critical the risk is more attention the risk needs so that's what the agenda that was the purpose of the qualitative risk analysis to see which risk need more attention which risk have highest score and very important thing uh, quantitative risk analysis the value which we get from the quantitative risk analysis the cost value that is what gives us the contingency cost so contingency for a project we get from the risk adjuster after performing the quantitative risk analysis so please remember that contingency for a project we always consider from the risk register so yes i hope you have understood something from here and i would again request you to watch the video risk management to understand with more clarity and yes we will come back with another video soon so if you have any suggestion any comment any feedback for me please feel free to write in the comment section and yeah thanks and have a good day